Welcome back people. This question is again from gate exam of 1997 and is for two marks. Let me read out the statement then I'll provide its solution. Consider a logic circuit shown in the figure below. The functions f1, f2 and f in canonical SOP forms in decimal notation are. So just have a look at these three functions as well as you can see this diagram given in question. They're asking the function f3 is. Okay. So you can see these are the three functions given in the question and we need to determine this f3. f1 is known, f2 is known and f is known. We need to find out this f, f3 sorry. Now let's try to find out what is output of this first gate. This is an AND gate. AND gate out, outputs one only when both of its inputs are high. That means you'll get a 1 here only when both of these are high. F1 and F2 both are high at 8. Okay. There is no other input such that both of them are high at same time. That means this function will be high only at 8. What do I mean by saying only at 8? That means whenever values of W, X, Y, Z are such that the string input string becomes 8 okay w is 1 x y z are all zeros okay whenever the input is 1 0 0 0 in that case you will get a 1 here rest for every other value you will get a 0 here because simply no other value exists no other value of these four variable variables exists such that both f1 and f2 will give high at the same time okay you can just see it from here the only common point between these two functions is 8. now you can see this is 8 and this f is given as a function which outputs high on inputs 8 as well as 9 that means these inputs w x y z they are given to all these three functions whenever the values of w x y and z are such that either it forms 8 or 9 that means this case or this case in these two cases this or gate is going to give a high now you know or gate gives value 1 when either of its input inputs is 1 in case of 8, that means when these values of w, x, y, z are 8, you can see you will be getting a 1 from here and it will be given to its input. And surely when any one of the inputs of OR gate is 1, you will get a 1. That means on 8, you will surely get high. So uh, one of the min terms is 8 due to this. Okay. Now we need to write this function f3 such that when the values of w, x, y, z are 9, that means in this case, this OR gates, at least one input should be high. That means in this case, we need to make at least one of these wires containing a positive voltage. Now you see, whenever the values of w, x, y, z are 1001, that means 9, in this case, this will surely be zero. This wire will be containing zero. Okay. No voltage will be applied on this wire. Why? Because F1 will output high. This one is one. But F2 will output zero. So one and zero will be zero. Okay. So you are getting zero here. That means surely this wire should contain high to make the final output high on input 9. Okay, the input by saying input, I mean these four variables. That means this function has to be uh, summation 9. That means 9 has to be present as one of the min terms of this function, which is F3. So this is your answer. But one more thing that you need to take care of is, you can also write 8 comma 9 here okay because this is a OR gate 
even if both the inputs are high on it i am talking for the input 8 values of w x y z 8 in that case even if both the inputs to this or gate are high still the output will be high on 8 okay so one possible answer is this other possible answer is this okay and uh, i think this one is not present in the options so according to the question this one will be your answers answer but uh, be careful they can also give such questions in the msq form so multiple uh, options might be correct okay